guys, welcome to the DMX Show. Today I'm going to do a quick review of the Trinity Kernel for the Nexus 7 device. Now, I know a lot of stories were coming out um, all over the internet um, on different blogs and different forums. The front page articles were talking about this Trinity Kernel and how it obliterated every other device in benchmarking results. So I just had to download it for myself and try it out for myself. And I've noticed that it doesn't really obliterate like they're saying, and I don't really know how they had it set up to do that, or if it was just like a fluke thing, so they took a screenshot. Um, I do know that this kernel is very fast, and it really does add a lot of speed and performance, and especially whenever you overclock it to 1642 megahertz, or 1.624 gigahertz, it really does improve the speed, it does increase the speed, and it also adds some other settings like under volting and underclocking that you can do to save battery and whatnot like you really need a reason to save battery on this awesome device um, I've been getting three or four days of use on one charge out of this device which is pretty awesome but real quickly we're just gonna kinda do a benchmark so we'll go to the CPU settings and we'll put it on let's see we'll go to this performance governor that I created here and it should be just maximum performance maximum speed all the time we're gonna set that real quick and this is after a fresh reboot. We're going to run the Quadrant. Now, I, I, do, I did notice that it does fly through the Quadrant. So this would be done in no time at all. Um, but I wasn't getting the scores that they were getting. Because they were getting like in the 5,000s. And it was seriously, it was beating like the HTC One X. Which is saying a lot. But you notice that it is flying through this, this benchmarking test. And in that sense, it really is obliterating this benchmark. You'll notice when we get to the 3D graphics, it's up in like the 80 frames per second, which my Galaxy Nexus does about 50. So it beats a lot of devices. I wouldn't say that it beats every single device. You'll see it's at uh, 76 frames per second, and I've seen it reach 80. So I'm thinking my prediction here is probably about a... Maybe we'll get to 4,000 on the final score here. And it's almost done, so we'll let it finish out. But as far as the Trinity kernel, I will say that I have noticed a slight performance boost. Maybe it's just all in my head. See, your device, 4014. So that's about the score that I've been getting. Uh, somehow they were able to max out at around 5000. I'm not sure, like I said, what maybe what ROM they were using. I'm on the Motoko ROM, so maybe that has something to do with it. Uh, but they were doing way better than the HTC One X, which is kind of hard to believe, but they were doing it, so I'm not sure how they did that. Uh, but all in all, the Trinity Kernel is an awesome kernel. You guys should check it out. Head to the link in the description to find that kernel. Um, also, be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com, where I have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. In any way, it helps me out more than you know. And thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.